No return to Let's Play Fallout 2. Okay, I was going back to uh, NCR and uh, heading my, my way back to uh, San Francisco and I ran into another random encounter here. Guardian, Guardian of Forever. Nothing out of the ordinary. Vault 13. The Vault 13 that was. It's a million flasks. steal any of this stuff. Is this gonna be some kind of continuity error? Are we gonna rip a hole in space and time? Terminal with a functioning water chip. I wonder if this is all the same stuff the Vault Dweller gets in the very beginning. Whoops. <laughs> You've broken the water chip. It might be anywhere from 100 to 150 days before this vault runs out of water. For some reason, this thought comforts you. I feel like there was a little bit more that was supposed to happen there. Let's uh let's go back real quick. I wanna see if I can go up the vault. I cannot. I'm only here to break the water chip and steal some stuff, I guess. Guardian of Forever. Alright. Anyway. Do one last round here. bringing back the special ammo and stuff, but it's never the power armor. 
So I'm just going to guess that either that was taken out the mod or it was a uh, fake. Tell me about this place. We've lived here for years, but we did not always live here. Dr. Fung knows the complete history, I'll bet. What you're looking for is what we do now. Uh, yeah. We're mainly fishermen and scientists. Our fishermen catch fish. Our scientists are working on a project that they say will change the world. They change the world how? I don't know. They keep their secrets to themselves. What else is happening in town? There's a gang of vagrants who have moved into the Poseidon oil tanker on the wharf. There are monsters living inside it, but the vagrants have sealed them into the lower hull. Though they are outsiders, we are grateful to the drifters for this task. Any other news? I can think of. It's just the same thing. Well, I mean, I don't. I really don't need a lot of that anymore. But uh, this sort of stuff just does eat up a lot of money. So, like, it's hard to turn it down, you know? Just because it's easy to get a lot of stuff done and out of the way. Okay. Now let's check all the other vendors and then we'll uh, head out. I need some information. Looking for some upgrades. I hear some flying machine uh, upgrades. Crockett. Who are you? Like some equipment. Okay, now he's got money. After I trade all that shit, of course. Still no power armor. Well, shit. And now I don't think I have anything to trade for the money. I was thinking of maybe doing some other things. Like I've got all these books here. I could buy more books. Let's see. It's a spare gun, I think. These. Okay, that's a little too much. Uh gun out of there, put the drugs back in. Well, let's see if we can uh, get some cooperation from these guys still. Because everyone seems to know that we killed What's-His-Face. We had a breach in security and our fuel reserves have been depleted. I'm a little busy to talk right now. I'm going to move on Vicky uh, soon.
What can I help you with? I need you to format the Hubologist hard drive. Format the hard drive? Are you kidding? No way, I can't do that. It's just a routine cleaning. I've backed up everything else already. Oh, well, if you backed everything up, I'll do it. Taps the keyboard. There you go. Hey, thanks. So long. I didn't get anything for that. I don't know. Do I want that? I don't know if I want that. What does that do for me? I mean, if I didn't get any quest for it, eh, let's rewind that and just leave it. I mean, on the one hand, you know, it foils the Hibologists, but on the other hand, it uh, doesn't do anything. Unless there's a missing quest or something that I have not yet figured out. Oh, again, is there something I can help you with? And lots of books. Lots and lots of books. Always with the books. Well, I've... At this point, I don't need any of this stuff. Good enough. Sell off some of those drugs. It's my way out right now. Okay, maybe I should go return some of those things to the car. Get in there and talk to him. That's a shame. I saved up all this money. No one wants to sell me any power armor. Looking forward to it. Oh well. Okay. Well, uh, in that case, I will head back to the car. I will empty my pockets as best I can. And then we will take a look at this submarine. I think, then that's to the Enclave and the end of the game. So, hold on a minute. Alright. Hey, step away from there. What? It's you again. What do you want? I need to use the motorboat. Just use the mooring post and slide down the rope to the boat. Don't take too long out there, though. I want to, don't want to get in any trouble. Bye. That's what I was doing. Jackass. After about a quarter of an hour, the rickety motorboat arrives at a rusty conning tower sticking out of the water off the coast of San Francisco. The shallow waters are murky. You can see the outline of the massive submarine quite clearly. Unlike the rest of the vessel, it's relatively rust-free and has an intricate, complicated lock. I'm kidding. Just can't make it easy. It does nothing. <laughs> I 
it. You struggle with the hatch, but eventually you manage to rip it open. Pieces of the broken lock litter the tower and crunch under your boots. Great. See, now what is the point of that if I can't see what it is? Chinese Army Special Ops Manual. Can't understand a thing from the text, but the illustrations are quite informative. The door is completely rusted over and there's no way to open it. Examine the console and the loose cables. Looks like someone with a little skill in repair or a crowbar could completely disable the subsystem. Okay, well, I do have a little bit. Failed to disable the power generator. with me actually now I don't have the lock pick and I don't need the lock pick though well I don't know that I don't know that I don't need that fucking Christ to use the motorboat again some other stuff first. Just rusty machinery. Code chart. Uh, cert not certain, but it appears to be a chart containing various Chinese command codes. Perhaps if you found a place to input these codes, you could learn a thing or two. Like here? Subsystem, if disabled, should prevent the tubes from being reloaded with spare torpedoes. Disabling shouldn't be too hard. The metal is literally falling apart, and you can clearly see the vacuum tubes. Now, who needed the Chinese codes? Just like you thought, the metal gives way easily and the console is soon dismantled. This sub won't be able to reload its tubes anytime soon. Wow. 
There's nothing. Just rusty machinery now. So did I already do it? I guess that was it. to input these codes, you could learn a thing or two. You know what? I'm going to look that one up. Okay, apparently it's something I can use back at the Emperor. So let's head back there right now. managed to disable the submarine, putting the undead guardian of San Francisco to rest. Okay. I'm not really sure why there were two computers there, but... Just in case I have to ask permission each and every time. Save it again. Shouldn't think I'd have to, but you know. This game has people forget that I've met them after extensive dialogues and quests together. You never know. Uh, geolocation. Diagnostics. Check hard drive integrity. Shielded core and 100% integrity of data, 100% forecast knowledge. I'm suffering minor power lags. Projected time to repair six days. Network scan. Uh, activate chemistry station. Access chemistry station. Fuels and derivatives. After sifting through the complex chemical formulae and lab notes, you come to the conclusion that she have created a kind of fuel from plant extracts and sea life. Apparently they've hooked into previously existing pipelines so they can transport fuel to a wide variety of destinations. Once so you've waded past the symbology and technical discussion, you discover that she are working on a new kind of polymeric combat armor that is resistant to both flame and penetration. It's still years from completion. You also see mention of new weaponry and construction capabilities. Apparently the Xi have some plans for the future. Chinese intelligence network. Okay, but hold on. Uh, diagnostics. Network scan. Activate physics station. Exploration in theory. With recent acquisition of vertebrate plans, the possibility of creating a practical flying machine has taken a quantum leap forward. We expect to have a working prototype by the end of the year and the ability to mass produce such vehicles within two years. After waiting through introduction in the mathematics, you discover the sheer learning to develop nuclear power again, rebuilding the space travel theories of the ancients, and they mock the biologists while doing so, and harnessing the energy of the sun, wind, and sea. At least, that's what the notes read like. Chinese Intelligence Network. Thanks to the command code chart you retrieve from the sub, you're able to access restricted files on the Emperor's drives. Command code recognized. Security restrictions lifted. Chinese Intelligence Network initiated. Warning. Uplink to CIN Central Beijing server unavailable. Retrieving archive data. It seems most of the archives are corrupted. However, the mainframe manages to retrieve several intact files. Intelligence report 2069. Rioting in Tibet and neighboring provinces continues, threatening the construction of the Eastern Dragon SATCOM complex. President Xin orders military intervention against the populace. 
Following significant insurgent casualties, the province is restored to Chinese control and the remaining insurgents are resettled. 72. Outbreak of epidemic in the Soviet Union threatens northern protectorates of the PRC. Biochem WD advises quarantine and isolation of endangered territories. Potential resettlement location for insurgents, terrorists, and undesirables in harvesting area for new strains of biological weapons. Plan submitted to party for approval. 23. The Alaskan Front Commander. Strain 23. Deployed against American troops, demoralizing and weakening their operational strength. Requesting additional troops and Battlemaster armor for final push against entrenched American forces at the borders of Alaska. 73. Oh, we were just there. 74. Central Command. American units deployed to mainland after evading our blockade of Japan. Alaskan forces are to continue operations. Military forces in annexed territories are to augment the defense of home front. Command authorizes use of biological and chemical weapons on home soil. Foreign devils must be exterminated. The Red Dragon. Insurgency operations and terror strikes highly effective in demoralizing the American population. Support for military operation overseas wanes as riots and protests are incited across the American soil. Recommend strikes against designated research and military targets across the U.S. Priority, Raven Rock, West Tech, Mariposa, Boulder Institute. Hey, the Institute. Central Command, American military superiority now clear. T-51B power armor units deployed to mainland. PLA has no appropriate counter and is losing ground daily. Chairman Cheng demands that Beijing stays in Chinese hands. Fortification is underway. Command orders intensif intensification of guerrilla operations behind enemy lines. Operatives in all American Commonwealth are to prepare for staging insurgencies. Open and equipment shipments dispatch priority target Washington, D.C., Columbia Commonwealth. Here we go. Close to the end here. With the Alaskan Front's collapse and increasing strong... Increasingly strong American presence on Chinese soil, defeat is imminent. According to Resolution 636860 of the Communist Party of China, I hereby order all loyal military forces to commence nuclear operations against the Americans. Mission outline R. Priority targets are contained within operational directives. May our souls return to this earth. Central Command, all forces in position, transmitting final confirmation codes. Operation Yolming is go. I think that's it. I mean, I could format the drive and just wipe the whole thing, but we will leave all technology available here, I guess. I even got a box of noodles for my trouble. All right, we're ready to go. some of these things back in the trunk since I don't need them anymore. You know, unless maybe I do, is it going to be like, oh, you have that intelligence? Fuck. Should I keep it just in case? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to face out there. Whatever. It doesn't probably weigh much, does it? One pound. I'm pretty sure that's what the code chart is for, but I don't know. Having these things might be something I can use for negotiating. If I'm not terribly mistaken, 
think I actually want to leave everybody here. Wait a minute. Let me let me just take everything that I might need potentially. Like uh, okay, I've got a toolkit. I've got a lockbox. What you be need? Load up on some things here. There. Okay, those are those are actually pretty heavy. I don't know, do I need poison resistance? Popping some anti-rads might be good. Buff out might not hurt. I have a box of noodles, so look, well, yeah, why not? We don't need that, that. Probably don't need all the drugs here, unless there's trading where we're going, but I, I think this is a one-way trip. Oh, shoot. What you be need? Meant to have you stay here. We be here. What's up? You got... Well... Uh... Come on, Marcus. We don't have all day. It'd be almost faster just to go in there and then pop back out. <laughs> have him wander over. He's almost here now. Jesus. All what right. do you want? You will wait here until I come I'll back. I'll just Okay. Are we ready, Magic 8 Ball? You can rely on it. All right. Let's, uh... Let's save to this one now. What are you doing? Get in there. Let me check. Okay, everything should be ready to go now. thing to go. Okay. Just says the same things. Check status. Fuel tanks full. Cargo empty. Navigation functional. Mooring lines attached. Let's go.
Okay. I guess I'm outside now. Okay. Well, uh... I don't know if I can do all this in one episode, but uh, I don't think there's too much more to do here, so I'll end this one here, and we'll continue on next time.